Hello everyone, welcome back to Joyce Creative Finger. Today I have a live build for you and it's for the orphanage as you can tell from the thumbnail. I told a little story in that orphanage and I managed to connect the story from the Hamptons to the orphanage. And that's the story of Raquel and Jason. So if you've not watched the Hamptons live tour, then go ahead and watch it. It should pop up in the iCard uh, above the screen of this video. So go ahead and watch it. And then we've, you know, basically progressed the story to it turning out that the little girl ended up in this orphanage because they were not really hands-on parents being young and in love. They weren't paying that much attention and the child became neglected. So go ahead and look at that. And if you're new to the channel, then I'd like to let you know that I do tell quite a number of stories, short stories in some of my tours here and there. So this is a life build for that orphanage. And I'm really getting excited about the fact that I'm able to now do a tour, do a life build, do a tour, do a life build. But the thing is, there are some builds that I can't do a life build for <laughs> simply because it's really tedious and, um, yeah, I like to do what I enjoy and if it becomes a bit of a pain or a difficulty or something I'm not looking forward to doing, then I try to steer away from that. So do bear with me. And the thing is, you might think, well, if you just go back to what you've built and, and copy that, no, it's not as straightforward as that for some builds, particularly the pyramid that I built a little while ago. Um, that pyramid, <laughs> <laughs> that was so hard. It was so hard to do. And I know I can just, from my iPad, uh, you know, turn the build into build mode and then copy it over into my iPhone, but I just had such a difficult time putting that build together so that the thought of doing a live build for it really puts me off. It just does. However, I've seen most of you replicate these builds and put up on the Facebook page and I mean, within within hours of the live tour, so <laughs> it's incredible. I I still know that there are tons of you who can go ahead and build from a live tour, like I used to um, build from live tours that I had seen on YouTube from so many amazing YouTubers. So, yeah, I'm so sorry that there are some builds that I just wouldn't attempt simply because I didn't have that much of a great experience around the build in the first place. And so once I'm done with it, I sort of take off. I never even visit the build again. And speaking of the pyramid, it's demolished already. It was demolished within the next week because I needed the plot. And that's another thing. So once it's demolished, there's no way I'd be able to go back and um, maybe even look at my own life tour and copy it from there. Do you see what I mean? It becomes tedious and I wouldn't want to go through that twice. <laughs> And you have to realize that um, it's not as though once I begin the, the recording process and start copying it, that it would work out um, seamlessly. A lot of mistakes happen and then I have to start all over again because I just feel it's just been too many mistakes. Let's start from scratch. I would not attempt that with something like the pyramid or the five star hotel that I built ages ago. I think that was a year ago. I, I, I was not going to do that at all. It was huge and we had a number of um, limitations such as when you've filled up a plot with so many items, you go into your inventory or into the build mode section and you find that all the items have been capped and it says you've reached the object limit cap. So that was impossible. The bigger the build, it just becomes really uh, difficult to enjoy replicating. But for some of you, you fall in love with this build and you go ahead and you do everything you can to have it in your towns and, you know, good for you. <laughs> but do bear with me. Uh, YouTubing is fun for me. It's something that I absolutely enjoy when it comes to building these houses. So I try to stay on the fine line of enjoying myself if I press a bit hard uh, and start doing stuff that is not really fun for me then it's likely to put me off altogether so I try to make sure that it remains a place of fun for me <laughs> and building what I like to see and hope that you like to see it and you know you can share it with your friends in your circles <laughs> So once again, my Twitter account link is in the description below this video along with my Instagram. So if you choose to replicate this build and, you know, share it amongst your friends on different social media platforms, 
do remember to use the hashtag Joyce Creative Finger so that I can locate you and comment and interact with you regarding the build and see what differences you've made. And also do remember to put up the photos on our Facebook page as well so that when we have visitors coming through to those pages and those other platforms, they get to see the other variations of our creative fingers. <laughs> And I absolutely love what you all do with these builds. And most of you even upload them to the uh, architect tab. And this is one of the reasons why I've chosen to do a lot of live builds because uploading to the architect tab is almost impossible to expect that it would show up as a chosen house to go up in our different towns. So it's easier this way and if you choose to put it up on the architect tab then we have quite a number of people putting up the same style of builds and there is a chance that it might show up there that happened with my latin villa i built a latin villa and it's on the channel and i built it a long time ago and someone had replicated it um taking off the last floor <laughs> and uploaded it and ever since then it's been a favorite and it keeps coming back to the architect tab um so yeah if you want to upload it then that's great but for me i I find it's almost a waste of time because I, I just doubt that it would make it there so I just put the builds up here for you to replicate yourself and tweak it any way that you would like <laughs> for instance this build here you could choose to maybe just use the front of it for instance maybe you don't want the orphanage behind and you can turn it into something else maybe an old school or a chapel because it has those features anyway so um, by all means get creative do what you would choose to do with this build and um, put up the photo so that we can see and share and be inspired by one another so thank you so much for watching and the build will continue right through to the end but i'm checking out at this point and i'll see you again soon bye <laughs>